Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at a few more heresies and heretical views denounced by the Church, and this time, the Waldensians. Apparently, a man named Peter Waldo began the Waldensians in 1173 in Lyon, though there is not much information about Peter Waldo now. What we do know is that the Waldensians were a movement that was never very large, never very popular, and was excommunicated and declared heretical by the Catholic Church, yet it continued on for centuries until Protestantism came into existence and the Waldensians were basically absorbed into the larger category of Protestants. As with the Protestants, the Waldensians did believe in many true tenets of the Christian faith, such as the redeeming death of Jesus, the existence of God, and Jesus being the incarnation of God the Son. However, they also believed strongly in the value of voluntary poverty, and were firm deniers of the existence of purgatory and of a number of other Catholic teachings. They rejected pilgrimages and relics, offices and dignities being held by Christians, prohibitions against eating flesh, the value of holy water, and even of the Eucharist. In fact, they rejected so many teachings of the Catholic Church that it was only a matter of time before they began to embrace the idea that priesthood was not a special role that people needed to be appointed for, but something that just anyone who believed in Jesus could do. Countless counter-arguments can be made against the Waldensians, just as they can be made against the Protestants, because their only defense of their position was to reject some previously established teaching without actually refuting it. This was not a movement guided by bishops or patriarchs trying to advance some theological point, like monothelitism or Apollinarism, or even Arianism. The main problem of Peter Waldo and his followers was their refusal to obey church authority, and their increasing rejection of church teaching as the divide between themselves and the church grew greater. Looking back on the Waldensians now, they really were like Protestants, except without tools like the printing press needed to sway lots of people to their side. Their pursuit of poverty and asceticism, while not harmful in itself, eventually seemed to have become more important to them than even remaining within the church, and this movement that had once been said to rigidly adhere to the Bible was soon ignoring 1 Timothy 3.15. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. 1 Timothy 3.15 other groups, like the Protestants, Free Spirits, and Fraticelli, would come to hold similar anti-church views, and would be heretical for the same reasons. Next time, what's Gallicanism? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.